Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm gonna show you something really new and interesting. This item comes straight off the production line in China and because I have some connections in this uh, space I was able to obtain this early prototype exclusively. I don't think this has been shown before so if you appreciate the effort I'm making to show you the latest hardware before its release date don't forget to hit the like button. This is the Raspberry Crypto Pi and it's the newest Raspberry Pi board. It has been designed specifically for mining cryptocurrencies as efficiently as possible. I've been told the project was founded by the Ethereum Foundation and the system was optimized for mining Ethereum, hence the uh, logo of Ethereum shown on this board. Before we go on with the next items, let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, which is the official provider of printed circuit boards for the Vlog channel. They even have a prototyping service for 3D printing, CNCing, laser cutting, injection molding, so you could basically build a product entirely with their prototyping service. Check them out! There are a couple of uh, things that stand out when uh, looking at this board. First, it uses the same overall size as the other Raspberry Pi boards, the same location for the pin header and for the mounting holes. Second, we can see these two large chips. The one on the left is an Intel processor. We no longer have a Broadcom processor. They are now using the latest Intel mobile processor, which is quad core. The one on the right is an Nvidia GPU. I don't have the exact model for this one, uh, but I've been told it's one of the newer chipsets part of the Volta family from NVIDIA with a cutting edge performance. So far we've seen AMD chipsets outperform NVIDIA for mining purposes, but it seems not anymore. The new Volta GPUs from NVIDIA are the best. The third thing we notice on this board is the amount of RAM memory. They've really gone to town with uh, memory and they've added 8 gigabytes of Samsung GDDR6 memory to this board. This is the fastest available memory on the market and uh, there is only one reason for that. We all know that uh, mining Ethereum needs a lot of fast memory and high throughput. Obviously because they had to fit uh, so much memory on a tiny board they could only keep these two uh, USB ports, uh, they are USB Type-C ports and uh, the board can be um, uh, powered through any of these. It will use uh, up to 50 watts, so you will need a uh, special 20 volts, 2.5 amps USB Type-C adapter to power this board. The 50 watts uh, figure is for when running the board at full speed. If the uh, power adapter cannot provide the required uh, 50 watts, some uh, speed stepping uh, will occur and uh, that will limit the maximum performance of the board. If used for mining or at uh, any other uh, intensive operation, the board will need cooling and I've been told they are working on uh, mass producing this custom heat sink to go with the board. So that's also one of the things they need to sort out before uh, offering this board on the market. I would also imagine there is going to be a huge demand for this when they launch. They're gonna be sold out in like a couple of minutes. I'm sure some wells are probably gonna purchase all of them. I was told the uh, release date is somewhere in uh, Q3 and that's mainly because Samsung cannot produce that many GDDR6 memory chips at this time. The big players in the uh, graphics card industry will get theirs first. So the uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation will have to wait until they get uh, more memory chips delivered. The board continues to run uh, Raspbian even though it now has an Intel processor. But it's a custom version of uh, Raspbian which has been stripped down to run as fast as possible. In fact, I've been told the uh, boot time is incredibly fast and the uh, supply image is already packed with the required software for mining Ethereum. So all you have to do is uh, connect the board through the internet and input your wallet address. As far as connectivity goes, they have removed the uh, Wi-Fi connection and I've been told they did that because it was rather unreliable for the high throughput that it needs. 
and they've stuck with this um, uh, wired connection which is now a gigabit connection so let's uh, move to my desk connect the board to my monitor and see how fast it actually boots so i have the board connected via hdmi let's connect the usb type c power adapter Wow, that was really fast. It took like four or five seconds and we now have a login prompt on the CryptoPie. I don't think there is any other uh, Raspberry board out there that can boot as fast as this one. So considering the performance of this board, I'm pretty sure people will start using these for other applications as well. Uh, something like uh, artificial intelligence, neural networks or machine vision as soon as they uh, become more widely available. Like I mentioned, we are looking at uh, Q3 for launch date. The price should be approximately 400 US dollars, which is not bad at all considering this single board will outperform a graphics card costing twice as much and will consume just 50 watts of power as opposed to uh, 300 watts in the case of a high-end graphics card which is not even a, uh, a full computer. I've also been told that you will be able to purchase these boards using Ethereum so that should be a pretty sweet deal for those uh, who are into mining or cryptocurrency in general. But like I mentioned there are going to be wells which own a lot of Ethereum that are just going to be ordering thousands of these leaving us uh, small players on the sidelines until more stock will be available. That was all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share the video and subscribe to my channel to watch more content like this.